So we're out here today working on something a bit different. So we're working on a 1999 land equipped sprayer. So this sprayer, when we first came here, this sprayer was on manual guidance and it is a 24 meter boom with five sections. So we're after fitting our GFX 1060 and NAV 900 on range point accuracy with Easy Pilot Pro Auto Steer onto the sprayer and we're also after retrofitting section control. So here now we're able to control rate and section control on the sprayer automatically through our screen. All this is done through Isobus, so we've retrofitted an Isobus ECU onto the sprayer and we've also increased the number of sections from five sections up to 13. We can go down the route if we want to through the Isobus ECU in controlling hydraulic functions such as folding the boom in and out, lights and so on. So here now the lads are just setting the latencies on the sprayer. So we have our steering calibrated, our section control is working and we're just setting the on off latencies so that the sprayer will come on and turn off on the headland at the correct time. So here now you can see our run screen inside in the cab. So this is our guidance part, our ISOBUS functions and sprayer controls and our section control here along the bottom. So again, to, you can double tap to make your guidance full screen you can double tap on implement controls or on your sprayer controls and you also have section control here. So if you go back into the sprayer controls here, here on the side now is where we can adjust our rate and do you want yeah, to... Yeah, so we have the rate here, liters per hectare that we're putting on um, and at the minute it's set up so it's controlled with the material. So, if you just press home, you've got your materials that's saved in here, you'll set up the library of materials and you've got your target rate set in there. So if you want to edit the target rate, you can just edit that. Save it. Just loads up the implement again. And we go back into our run, you can see we're back at 300 litres a hectare, I don't know. Um, so you can have it set, so you can either set it in the ice bus screen, or you can set it through the, the Trimble screen, the GPS side of things, sort of thing, you know. Um, like if you're doing variable rate control, you need to have it set through the Trimble, so you can adjust the rate as you're moving along through your different areas, according to your prescription map. Um, whereas if you're not doing variable rate, then, you know, or you're not doing prescription maps, should I say. You know, you can have it set so you can just set it through your isobus part of the screen. So, as you can see here now, the latency is off, so it, it's showing that this area has been sprayed, and now your sections are turning back on onto the area that hasn't been sprayed. So here now you can see the sprayer is spraying in full width with all sections turned on, and as we come in over an area that has been sprayed, you'll be able to see our sections will start shutting off across the sprayer. So our sections are now shutting off here. So our sections are now shutting off here. And they're now all turned off as we cross through the area that has been sprayed. As he carries on, you'll see they're starting to shut off from the right hand side, or turn on, sorry, from the right hand side the full way across. So here now we have our GFX display fitted inside in the cab, and our NAV 900 receiver is mounted in the centre of the sprayer. So our ISO CCU is then mounted in here. So this is, this is really the brains of the section control. So everything is fed from the screen back to the ISO CCU. It goes from your ISO CCU to the back of the sprayer, which we can show you back to the junction box. So wires are fed from the ISO CCU back to the junction box, which we've fitted up here in the back of the sprayer, and from the junction box out to your solenoid valves on each boom. So we, we have ran cables out to your junction box here, 
to your valves which are controlling three to four sections on each side. So again, there's five boom parts on the back of this boom, five individual sections, which originally had five manual sections, and that's now increased to 13 sections. And um, I suppose this system and any system on, a, on retrofitting your spare, they are TAMS compatible, so you are able to get a grant on retrofitting this sort of a system onto your sprayer. And it's giving this sprayer, which was built in 1999, the same functionality as a new sprayer that you can buy today.